Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, I'm just about packed and ready to go for tomorrow. Um, just kind of dotting the T's and crossing the I's and trying to make sure I have everything like, you know, my little, uh, little light here. Make sure I've got everything that I need. And... Boom, boom. Yeah, stuff like this. Got to make sure I got everything, including my glasses, so that way I can see all the comments and stuff. Um, and I just finished doing my video, uh, my nighttime video, end of the day and stuff, and then I had a couple of things that came through here. One, Philly 500 making a jackass of himself, and two, uh, we're hearing that tomorrow is the day that they'll get the ruling for Deshaun Watson. Um, it's expected to come down. The NFL PA has already said that they are not going to appeal this because they recognize that the collective bargaining agreement was good for both sides and so on. And they want to keep the integrity and stuff open because the NFL, of course, is their partners. What I think that means is, well, we heard Sean Watson basically said, if it's a year long suspension, I'm appealing it. So I think the NFLPA is confident that it's not going to be a year long. So I'm thinking that the NFLPA feels that the, uh, the decision is going to be kind of going in their favor. And which is why they're saying that we're not going to appeal this in NFL. Whatever the decision is, you shouldn't either because I think it's leaning towards the NFLPA's desire not to have them suspended for the year. The NFL, of course, would like to have them suspended for the year. We don't know where this is going to go, but we will find out tomorrow um, at some point from the judge. So, more than likely, I will be East Coast time on a plane at 9 o'clock and won't land until about 3 o'clock. So, more than likely, I'll be missing the call and won't be able to get the news to you guys. So, I may find out after I land. So, we'll see what happens uh, one way or the other. I guess the Cleveland Browns are sitting on pins and needles right now trying to figure out who is going to start the season and how long they're going to be without uh, Deshaun Watson. All right, good people. I appreciate you as always, and you're up to date.